Picking a team of the decade has more or less broken my heart uh, with further hurling because there's just so many players that people are just going to be annoyed at why aren't they in? Why aren't they uh, in there? But anyway, I'll give it a stab. Not everyone's going to be happy. I'd be accused of bias the whole lot, but here we go. Uh, in goals, Owen Murphy. I think he's probably up there with the, the greatest goalkeepers of all time, so I didn't think it was too much of a, an issue there. Won the All-Ireland for Kilkenny in 2014, made some unbelievable saves against Tipperary, and uh, I, I do think that that was the difference that day. It was funny, he was only thrown in for the final. David Herty had started the semi. Just two All-Stars in that time. Uh, probably could have earned more in a different era. And uh, 10 points, he's actually scored 10 points as well from the goals as well, taking those long frees. Remember one day he scored four from his own half against um, Dublin, that was last year, and a couple of them were inside the 45, they were unreal. Uh, the cornerback slot, um, it basically came down to a straight shootout between two Kilkenny guys, Paul Murphy and Jackie Tyrrell. And the reason I went for Paul Murphy is during the period where I think the, you know, it was the earlier part of this decade. He's, he won four All-Stars. And that was in a time where Jackie Turrell was also starting. So if Murphy was winning the All-Stars during that period, it suggests to me that he was probably playing at a slightly higher level, even though Jackie Turrell was playing very, very well. And after that point of all the All-Stars, um, Jackie Turrell retired or wasn't in the team in 2015 either. So I think that's kind of why I went to the decision for Paul Murphy, who's obviously been really really good throughout the whole decade so that's why he gets that some people will still think it's Jackie Terrell but that's fair enough um fullback straight shootout between Dahi Burke and JJ Delaney they both played more or less half the decade each and uh, there are probably one or two others that you could give an honorable mention to but I think it does come down to those um JJ Delaney so safe very very good in so many big games um just had to go for him he's just a pure class player and I'd, I'd say most people understand that Dahi Burke has won four All-Stars, he's still only 26 and can get better, but uh, can continue to get better. He's already pretty much the best fullback in the game anyway. But just about went for JJ Delaney there. Galway people probably won't be happy. Cornerback, uh, and I'm picking cornerbacks and cornerback, fullback, fullback. I went for Noel Connors, three All-Stars in the decade, always marking the best man. I know some people will say he has a sweeper in front of him for an awful lot of that, which means he can attack the ball a bit harder. And I do understand that. That's definitely a fair point. But just went for Connors. Thinks his, think his consistency being there for the vast majority of the entire decade that he'd have to get it. Uh, wing back, Brendan Maher. Uh, could have been hurler of the year in 2010, but for Lair putting in that uh, third goal right at the end against Kilkenny, I'd say he would have been hurler of the year. Got young hurler of the year instead. Um, very good throughout the decade. Obviously, Tipperary people will know that. Played in a variety of positions. Uh, he's the fireman of the team. Wherever needed, he goes. Whether that's centre-back as he was throughout parts of 2014, also wing-back that year, won an All-Star. Uh, has played in the forwards at times. Uh, Man-marking jobs at the moment. Brilliant at midfield. I remember especially 2013, he was very good at midfield before Tip went out early. Um, centre-back, I've gone for Paddy Maher, even though he'd often play on the wing. Five All-Stars throughout his career, four of them this decade. Could have been hurler of the year in 2016. Um, obviously one of the two Tipperary players should have been hurler of the year it was between Seamus Callan and, and Paddy Maher and I think obviously a split vote there uh, had really big games in the vast majority of all Ireland's and uh, scored 20 points from the half back line as well which can't be underestimated um, number 7 then I've gone for Kevin Moran again played in a variety of positions wing back which was one and generally really, really good. Obviously, Waterford had a terrible year in 2019 and 2018 wasn't a whole pile better. A little bit better, obviously, but not, not, not particularly brilliant. Uh, Hurler of the Year nominee in 2017. And uh, I was thinking about getting another Waterford player in here, Brick Walsh, but I'm not sure what position I put him in. Really brilliant career. Some of that brilliance was in the previous decade, uh, but I've gone for more. Midfield, I think Michael Fenley is as obvious as they come. He has to be the first choice at midfield. He was... Probably the most decisive player in both 2011 and 2015 in the two All-Ireland Finals. The second half against Galway in 2015 ran the show. Brilliant against Tip in 2011, scored that decisive goal. I mean, he's decided so many huge games and to not have him in there would be a joke. David Burke, midfield beside him. So consistent, man of the match in the 2017 All-Ireland Final. Just a classy player, just brilliant to watch and so consistent for so many years. Noam McGrath, wing forward. You could have him midfield, I suppose, as well. A huge body of work, just so excellent for so many years. Um, 
probably, yeah, he was man of the match in the 2019 All-Ireland Final. Probably, he will get an All-Star, of course. Probably unlucky to have only one other All-Star in the decade. Midfield, centre-forward, wing-forward, wherever he's, he's been brilliant for tip. I think Richie Hogan deserves to go in there in the forward line. I'll put him in at uh, centre-forward. Heard of the year in 2014. He had All-Stars in 2011, uh, 14, 15, 16. He scored 11.82 in the decade. And that's pretty good going. Think of the All Ireland Finals. Twenty eleven scored a goal. Twenty sixteen, well, Kilkenny, Kilkenny were under knees, scores a goal, delivers in the big games, and I think to be, it'd be wrong to leave him out of there. Uh, t- number twelve, TJ Reid. Don't really need to explain why. Just three All Stars and one hurler of the year, but probably played even better than than that suggests. Um, man of the match in Kilkenny's three most recent games in twenty nineteen, even though he just got a point from play over the three of those. And 15 goals uh, from play over the course of the decade, not to be sniffed at. Joe Canning in at number 13, a shoe in. Hurler the year in 2017, even though in 2018 he was playing at a far higher level, I would suggest. Uh, very good in 2012 and 2015 also, 13 goals from play in that time. Uh, Seamus Callanan, I think, nailed on for the number 14 jersey, even though he didn't nail down his start position with Tipperary until 2014. But he scored 29 goals from play in, in the decade, which is outrageous. Uh, about to be nominated for Hurler of the Year for the fourth time. Could have won in 2016. Held scoreless from play just seven times in 53 championship games. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, 15, Patrick Horgan. Another absolutely brilliant player. Really consistent over the course of the decade. 14 goals from play and six of those came in 2019. So perhaps he's only getting better after turning 30. Uh, he had only one goal in the previous five championships before that, so it's it's quite a turnaround too. So that's my team of the decade. Let me know who you think should be in there, who am I leaving out. Um, so just, just leave your comments and uh, I'll try to get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to the page if you already haven't and click the bell if you want notifications of when a new video goes live.